In the previous session, we looked at editing a page and you created your first page. Uh, maybe you played around and you created a few more pages. Um, I want to spend just a little bit of time looking at what I would call maybe some advanced page editing. It's really not that advanced, but um, it's important that you get exposed to this. Um, I'm just going to use my home page. You can use any page you want um, that you've created and just wanted to give you a sense of some of the things that might happen to you while you're in there. Um, you know, this is the toolbar as you've probably seen and it's kind of like what you would see in Microsoft Word or something and you know, and obviously I can make something bold and italic and, and that's great. Um, but there's a couple of other things that you can add here um, and some of this are links which I want to cover um, and then this toolbar toggle, if I click that you'll see I get a set of additional options um, which just more some text formatting options, inserting special characters, indentation, etc. Um, so not too many features and most of that should be fairly sort of apparent what they do. Um, but what I really want to cover is uh, a couple of the features you might need or that you might inadvertently find yourself in. Um, you see there's two tabs here, a visual tab and a text tab. So the visual tab is showing you what it's going to look like. So you see the bold, etc. Um, the text tab, if I click that, um, it's really what we call kind of the HTML view um, or the source view. Um, and I know for most of you, you probably haven't seen HTML. Now HTML, um, hypertext markup language, is the language that web pages really are written in. Now the good news when you're using WordPress, um, you don't really need to know much about HTML because that's the whole point of using WordPress. It's a content management system. You just write your code, I mean, I'm sorry, your, your text, your page content, um, and WordPress is kind of writing the code behind the scenes. Now the visual and the text in this case doesn't look too different. Um, but let's explore a couple of changes that you can see how it looks like in HTML. And you might be wondering, well, if I don't really need to know HTML, why are you showing me this? Well, a couple of reasons. One, if you inadvertently find yourself seeing these kind of strange uh, cryptic looking, you know, words or characters, uh, just double check and make sure you're in the visual tag so you can go back to visual. So sometimes people sort of get switched into this text view um, and they get a little confused. Um, and the second reason I want to cover it is as you progress and get more advanced with your WordPress career, um, knowing HTML and becoming good at HTML is always good. Some of the advanced themes you'll see us look at later, um, sometimes they may even require you to get into the HTML. So don't worry, you never have to be an HTML expert, but the more sophisticated you want to get, the better it is to get you know comfortable with HTML. Um, this video is not going to teach you HTML and make you an expert. I'm, I just want to really give you and expose you to the basics of HTML so that you're not horribly shocked when you when you see it. Um, so let's take a look at, at a couple of these things. Um, if I, for example, do this company and I do bold, and now we go to the text view, you can see it's using this tag called strong. Now, the thing about HTML is for almost all tags, you, you start with a tag, this is the opening tag, so it's strong, meaning you know, in their case bold, um, and you'll see there's an ending tag. So let me just uh, go down here, and I'm just going to use this for, for typing purposes. Um, so you'll have some kind of tag, and I'm just going to use the word tag here, which is not legitimate. Um, then you'll have some form of text, and you always have to close the tag with that forward slash, and anything between the opening and the closing will be affected by that tag. So you can see here the word company uh, is between that opening tag and that closing tag. Let me delete that. So if we go back to our visual view, you can see only the word company is in bold or in their vernacular in strong. And that's because that's between those tags. Now what happens, let's say I took that closing tag out and I moved it to say over there. So you can just see it. So the strong starts there. Then we have all this text between it. Whoops. And then we have the closing tag over there. So remember what I said, all the text between the tag will be affected. So let's go back to the visual and take a look. And sure enough, you can see that 
companies specializing in finding hosting is all in bold or strong. So let's go back to the tag. So you can see how the closing tag is important. Um, really, the computer started reading and it gets here and says, we are a, it says, ah, okay, the next text has to be in bold. And it just carries on bolding until it finds the first closing tag for that bold. And then it carries on with what it had. So that's why when you look at HTML, you'll always see the opening and you'll always somewhere see a closing. Um, if we look back to here, I did bold and italic for that site, uh, for the word site. And if you look at the text, you can see here it's a nested set of tags. The word site is covered in covered by the strong tag beginning and ending. And it's also in this emphasis tag, which is again their, their terminology for italics and the closing emphasis tag. So likewise, if I took this emphasis tag and I took it, so if I put the closing tag there, let's see what will happen. The computer comes and it says, okay, welcome to our, and it sees the opening tag for italics. So it knows everything following this tag has to be in italics. And then it sees the bold tag and says, okay, so everything has to be in bold as well. And it's all additive. So it's bold and italic. So it has the word site and then the bolding ends because I have that closing tag over there. So the bold is finished, but we are a company specializing in finding hosting deals is all still under the emphasis or italics mark because we haven't closed it yet. We only close it there. So if we look at the visual representation, sure enough, we can see that this entire sentence now is in italics. So if you're a HTML kind of designer, you can actually code right here in, in HTML. So I can do strong every day and then let's close my tag. Now let's go look at the visual side of this and you can see the word every day is in bold. Um, so you can do it either in visual view using these attributes or do it in text view and do it in HTML. So again, I don't want you to be too worried about learning all of the HTML tags, but you are going to see a few of them come up in your daily life. For example, let's do if I do a paragraph and then I close the paragraph. Remember, HTML tags have to be closed. Um, so I just coded that. Now, if you go look at the visual, you can see how it's broken this up into two paragraphs. Um, let's put a paragraph marker in there. So, um, so you know, over time, you're going to be learning more about HTML. The only purpose really of this lecture was just to make you not panic when you accidentally in the text mode. And when you are starting to get a little bit more advanced and you see these open tags and closed tags, you start getting, you know, figuring out what they are. Um, there's many websites um, such as this one, the w3schools.com, where it'll explain all the different tags in HTML. Um, and for example, there's a heading, there's the paragraph we looked at, um, and there's a link. And uh, let's go take a look at a link before concluding this lecture. Um, let's, uh, let me just uh, delete this out. So a link is, as you would expect, it's a hyperlink. Um, so let's say that we wanted to link the word inbox. I'll highlight the word inbox and we can click insert edit link. And let's say we want that to take us to cnn.com. And let's update that. Now, if I refresh my home page, you'll see that inbox now is a link and that will take me to cnn.com. So that's how you can insert a link in your page using the visual editor. If we look at the hypertext markup for that, this is what it looks like. You might be, well, it looks a little confusing. Well, let's go look at the HTML school. And it says links are defined with the A tag. It's an anchor. And so it's an anchor tag. And remember, every time you have an open tag, you have to have a closed tag. And there you can see the open tag and the closed tag. Then it's got a href, which is the address you want to go to. And then the text you want the link to display as. And if you look over on our side visually, we said we want to show it as inbox. It shows you it displays as the word inbox, but the, the link goes to CNN. Um, so let's take a look again at the text. So it's the open tag, the close tag. There's our href of where we want to go. 
and how we want it to be displayed. So you can see it exactly mirrors what you see here on the HTML school. Um, so in this manner, you can actually learn and explore HTML and you can insert HTML into your page if you need to. Again, you shouldn't really need to. You'll be working in the visual section for this course. Um, really just wanted to expose it to you so that uh, you weren't blindsided when, when you suddenly get confronted with a little bit of HTML or, or accidentally get stuck there. Uh, so I hope that was helpful and uh, we'll start building some uh, additional items to our page and start building out our site.